OpenAI had their dead day yesterday and there's a lot of new stuff we can test out. So I went ahead this morning, I tested the new GPT Vision API, the Dolly 3 API and the new text to speech API. I also did a test on the new 128k context window with the new GPT4 Turbo engine. So that was pretty cool and some other stuff, but now let's just get started. Okay, so if you didn't watch the dev day from OpenAI yesterday, we got a lot of new features and some pretty exciting ones too. You can see we have a now a GPT-4 Turbo with a 128k context window. Very excited about that. We got lower prices, always good. We got a new assistance API, a GPT-4 Turbo with Vision API. Pretty excited about that, I gotta say. Probably the highlight for me. We have a Dolly 3 API and more. So let's just get into some stuff here. Uh, a GPT-4 Turbo with 128k context. So that is pretty cool, something I have been waiting for um, for a long time. So we can now fit up to 300 pages of text in a single prompt. And it's gonna be faster and even cheaper. So that is kind of having the cake and eating it too, so pretty cool. Uh, we got some function calling updates. We're gonna look at that later. We got some improved instructions following and JSON mode, so you can kind of force the output now I think. Uh, we got an updated GPT-4 3.5 Turbo. Uh, I think we're going to look at this later. And here's kind of the new Assistant API, Retrieval and Code Interpreter. This is also going to be covered in another video, just some quick things here. We can kind of now run the Code Interpreter uh, through the API. And we can do Retrieval and the uh, previous function calling. So very excited about that. That's going to be a deep dive. Uh, I think it's got, that's going to be a single video, I think, later. But let's just move on to some things we want to test today. So let's start off by GPT-4 Turbo with Vision. So this is something I'm very excited about. And I created a test this morning. Uh, you can kind of see it here. Very simple to use. So the price was kind of interesting too. It depends on the image input size. So you can see if we have a 1080 by 1080, uh, it costs $000765 per image. And the first thing I think is that is quite cheap, right? I think we're gonna do a project later where we kinda try to analyze the whole video. I think we're gonna do that. But let's just start by looking at how this works now. So this is kind of the function I created. I just called it analyze image and we're just gonna pass in the API key and that is pretty much all we had to do. You can see we have the model GPT-4 vision preview and we're gonna ask a question and we have an image URL, so we upload an image. So you can kind of see here the model we are using here, GPT-4 Vision Preview. And yeah, this is basically it. So pretty simple to use. Pretty happy with that. And we got some other stuff here. Uh, yeah, some limitations, some costs. So yeah, we might cover this in another video. I'm not going to go in too much detail at the moment. Uh, but let's just... Uh, I found this image of the Wall Street Journal here from 2008 and I uploaded that to Azure, I got the URL and what's in this image? So let's just run this so we're just gonna go python vision.py and now we're gonna send the image into the GPT-4 vision model and hopefully we get a response back and I think it's pretty quick, yeah you can see this now this image shows the front page of Wall Street Journal newspaper for Monday, September 15, 2008. So the headline, crisis on Wall Street. Below the headline, there are three graphs. Decepting a sharp decline in stock value for Lehman Brothers, Merrill Lynch and AIG. Uh, subheadings. The specific issue of the paper captures a significant moment in the financial history. The early stages of 2008 financial crisis. So we got some kind of comment here in the bottom too. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so very easy to use. And there was quite a quick response. So I'm so excited about this API. And we're going to do a lot of videos going forward with this. Uh, I can think of a thousand cool use cases. So stay tuned for more on this. But today we are just going to go through all the news. So I think we're just going to move on to Doll E3. I think this was pretty much expected to that we got an API for Dolly 3. Uh, you can see we kind of had to pay 4 cents I think per image generated. 
And again, uh, it's very easy to set up. Very simple to use. This is pretty much all we have to do. We need to pick a model and a prompt and a kind of size. We got something here. We can change up the how many images we want and the quality. And for this, I created a quite a simple generate and save image function uh, because we want to save it in a directory. So again, we just pass the API key. And yeah, this is just to save the image because we get a URL we can click on, but I want to automatically save it in my folder. Uh, so we're just gonna use this input here, enter a prompt for image generation. And we pass the user prompt and the API key and we call the function. Pretty simple setup. Uh, so let's test it out. So let's go with the prompt, a faded image of a 90s hacker set up CRT screen with code running, mysterious dark atmosphere. Okay, so let's click enter. Image saved to download the image. Uh, okay, let's check it out. So let's go to our folder here. Uh, all right. I think that was pretty cool. Kind of exactly what we wanted. We double that. Okay. Yeah, I think that's cool. So excited to try to combine Dolly 3 with the new Vision API. So we're going to create some kind of loop uh, of that going forward. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but that's pretty much it, the Dolly 3 API. Very easy to use. And yeah, looking pretty cool. Now let's move on to the new text-to-speech TTS API. So you can see we, the price starts at, uh, I think that's 15 cents, is it? Per input 1000 characters. And we have some models to choose from. I think we're just going to go with the TTS1 model now. Uh, but now let's get into it. So we created just a pretty simple setup here. So again, very easy to use. We're just gonna pick a model, pick a voice, and an input. And it's gonna be saved as an mp3. I guess we probably could stream this. Uh, I haven't had a look at Yeah, streaming real-time audio. Uh, that's gonna be another video. Today, I think we're just gonna download this as an mp3. Uh, but look at for the streaming part uh, in another video. So, I created a pretty simple setup here. Uh, where is it? I think it's talk. So again, we're just going to pass our API key here and we're going to pick a model, input text, voice and response format and speed. So I just picked the TTS one and yeah, here you can see kind of my input. We picked a voice, MP3 and set the speed and that is pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I think so. So let's check it out. Let's try to run this. So let's go python talk.py. Okay. Uh, wow, that was quick. So audio files saved to speech tree mp3. Okay, let's have a listen. Hello. I am really excited about the new GPT Vision API. I also wish you all a great day. All right. That works. Uh, maybe not the greatest voices, but I guess they are fine. Uh, and maybe in the future we can get some new voices, but I think for now I kind of prefer like 11 labs and H uh, play HD uh, But yeah, I guess they are fine. So again very easy to use And we're gonna experiment more with this later I thought we can create some kind of app where we can talk to the chatbot more smoothly than using like a third-party API But that's gonna be another video uh, But yeah, let's just move on now let's test out the new 128k context window uh, with GPT-4 Turbo. So yeah, not much to say here. I created a pretty simple setup. What I did, I went ahead, I collected like the Tesla Q3 earnings call transcript. And I added like the Meta uh, Q3 transcript. I fed all of this into like a text file here. So how many pages do we have? I think it was like... 34 pages and how many words it's 100,000 characters and 17,000 words so I just copy that I fed it into like an input here so you can see we have a lot of text so 100,000 characters and I created this prompt so make a summary of the Tesla earnings call and the meta earnings call from the following text 
So we're just going to pass the input here into this prompt. Uh, it's not that one. Sorry, it's this one. <laughs> so we're just going to run the input file here into this prompt with the placeholder. And hopefully we can get a summary. So let's do summary. Okay. Save. Yeah, you can see we have the GPT-4 model. Uh, pretty easy setup. We pass the API key again. Uh, you're a data scientist. So change. let's change up the system prompt. So let's go with the, you're a data scientist and a finance expert. Create a detailed finance summary for the user. So let's just use that as a system prompt. And let's run it. So let's just go gpt128.py. Okay. Uh, this I'm excited to see how long this takes. Remember, this is a pretty big context. So, yeah, and we're going to save this to a text file called summary. Okay, so that was not too bad. I would say that was, was about 15, 20 seconds. Uh, yeah, looking good. So we have a summary, Tesla earnings call summary. Uh, yeah, we got some bullet points here. Meta earnings call summary. Uh, wow. Pretty impressive, right? So let's see if we have the file here. And uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, all right, all right, yeah. Tesla highlighting it for special internet AI development. Good. Uh, the call topic search of Cybertruck, sales, expansion plans. Yeah, pretty happy with this, I gotta say. In terms of hardware, the Quest 3 headset and the Ray Ban Meta smart glasses were launched. Pretty good summary, I gotta say. From, remember, we went from this wall of text, right, all the way down to this. All right, pretty cool. So yeah, you can see kind of why I'm excited for this new 128k token window. Exciting, very exciting. Uh, let's do another test of a new feature. Okay, so this new feature is inside of the playground, so it's called Assistance. So if we go here, we can kind of create our own chatbot or call it what you want. So we created something called finance bot. So we named it finance bot. Uh, we gave it some instructions. So you are a finance expert. Your task is to analyze earnings call transcripts and create a report, include sentiment and other relevant factors. We can pick our model. So I'm going to pick the new GPT-4 Turbo 128. So I just added on some code interpreter and retrieval. And we can even add our own functions here. So that's pretty cool. We're going to explore more on that later. And we're going to upload a file. So let me find a file we can upload. So we just uploaded the Tesla Q3 earnings call. So you can kind of see the PDF here. So this is in PDF format. This is every word that was said in the earnings call for Tesla in October. And now we have some kind of retrieval here, right? So we can just save that. Okay. Your assistance has been updated. And now we can kind of start talking to this document. So let's just go, hello, I want a detailed Tesla Q3 earnings call report. So let's click on add and run, right? So now this is probably going to look at our document. It's going to try to create an earnings call report based on our system instructions. So hopefully we can get some sentiment reports here and other relevant factors. So let's see how this turns out. Okay, so you can kind of see uh, here, it went through it, this kind of like step by step. So you can see it kind of goes, uh, I will now continue to analyze the rest of the document. So it doesn't do, doesn't do everything at once. So I think we're just going to try now create a coherent port from the text above. So let's see if we can get everything into like one report. Okay, this looks much better. So here we have the Tesla Q3 earnings call report. We have an SX executive overview, uh, a mix of robust operational performance and cautious optimism and challenging economic conditions. So we have some key financial operational highlights, some cool information here. Investments in AI tech and other interview platform range strategy priority. Okay, cool. Technological advancements, the Optimus humanoid robot project, robot taxis. Okay. Challenges and risk, market strategy, autonomous vehicle. Pretty good. This is detailed. Conclusion. Let's ask, what would you say was the sentiment from the earnings call in one sentence? 
So let's see if we can get it like to one sentence what the er sentiment was. Uh, the sentiment call was cautiously optimistic with Tesla leadership, expressing confidence in uh, okay, uh, but also acknowledging economic and production challenges ahead. Yeah, pretty good. So I think this was pretty neat to be honest. Uh, it's quite easy to set up. Took me like two minutes to set up, and yeah, you can see here kind of good results. I was pretty happy with this, and I'm kind of excited to explore this more. I think that's gonna be it for my coverage of the OpenAI Dead Day so far. Uh, we got a few other things we didn't look at here. So we have some fine-tuning things we can look at, custom models. Uh, I'm kind of interested in GPT for fine-tuning, but that, of course, is gonna be another video. Yeah, the prices, we didn't go into too much detail, but it's cheaper. So we have higher rate limits, that's good. Copyright shield. Uh, also excited for the new Whisper model, we're gonna be testing out that soon too. Uh, yeah, but I think that's what's pretty much it. Kind of exciting stuff, looking really, really looking forward to exploring the GPT-4 Vision API more. So, pretty excited, happy for a 128 context window. Uh, I haven't looked at the GPT-4, like the browser, all models yet. But uh, we're gonna look into that too. So, stay tuned for other videos on these new features. Thank you for tuning in and have a great day.